Hi everybody, this is Vikyon once again. Today we will be going through how to perform an upgrade to, for the VMware tools and also the virtual hardware upgrade. After upgrading to vSphere 5, you realize that your VMs, VMware tools and hardware are out of date. As you can see here on one of my VM that is powered on now, the VMware tools is running as you can see by an exclamation mark icon has indicated that it's out of date. For the power off VM, you can also see that it's out of date but it's not running. And you can also see that the VM hardware is currently at version 7. Okay, before we proceed, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the virtual hardware. Right click on a power off VM and you will be given this option, upgrade virtual hardware. Do note that you need to upgrade your VMware tools before performing this. And for power on VMs, you will not have this option. So here what we can do is go to VMs and templates. What we're going to do here is to create one folder. You can name it anything. Here I'm going to just call it my VMs and just drag both my VMs into this folder why I'm doing this is that instead of upgrading one by one I'm going to perform an upgrade via one single folder so here I'm going to click on my VMs folder go to the update manager tab click attach and we'll choose VMware tools upgrade and VM hardware upgrade Click attach you see that here all groups and independent space line is select it has been displayed and the two VMs are actually shown here we're gonna perform a scan to make sure that is compliant or not compliant here we'll choose hardware upgrades and VMware tools since these are the two baseline we selected we're going to uncheck virtual appliance upgrade alright after scanning you can see that it's shown that it's not compliant so here what we're going to do is we're going to click on remit date Okay, we have to perform this twice. For, for the first time, we're going to do the VMware tools upgrade first on both the VM. Alright, and we're going to check both the VMs and click next. Here, I'm going to just put upgrade VMware tools. We're going to schedule this immediately. Alright, you can actually also do this by upgrading it on power cycle. Here you can actually choose a snapshot. I'm not going to do that as to say space and then click next and you will be given a summary. Once I click finished, the remediate entity will start. Here what it will do is that for my power off VM you actually power it on and run the update for the VMware tools. Where for my power on VM will actually run the VMware tools upgrade. Follow on it will actually perform a reboot after the upgrade. This applies for both the VMs. The VMware tools will take about 10 minutes to perform, so we will resume this one. This is completed all right here we can see that the VMs has been upgraded with the new VMware tools and you can see a tick here and it's showing running and it's current for both my VMs okay for this one is still powering up so it's not running yet and you can see on the recent task we actually initiate a shutdown and power on what happened is that as I mentioned previously is that it actually perform a reboot after the upgrading of the VMware tools
right as you can see my VM 02 is also now coming running current and it's now been powered off because before the upgrade the state was power off so after it's completed upgrading you will actually do a shutdown Okay, next we'll upgrade the virtual hardware and you can see now that the VMware tools does not require any upgrade only the hardware now let's click on remedate this time we're going to choose hardware upgrade and both the VM check and click next I'm going to put upgrade VM hardware and schedule this immediately I'm not going to take any snapshots as I mentioned I'm going to say space here for best practice please take a snapshot in case anything were to happen you can actually do a revert and here's the summary and finished As you can see for the VM hardware upgrade, the VM will be power off. So you see that VM01 has been shut down as VM02 is originally shut down. Here you can see the VM version is now 8. Same applies for VM01, it has already upgraded to 8 and is now being powered on. And this marks the end on upgrading VMware tools and virtual hardware for virtual machines using vSphere client connecting to your vCenter with the update manager plugin.